sure there are a lot of birds. A lot of birds out today. Welcome to Red Rocks. This is Justin, I'm Travis with Cook Street Productions. Today we want to talk to you about our upcoming short film, which is about Y2K. Rather than tell you about the plot and character and setting though, we actually put together a fake infomercial that our main character has for his Y2K survival kit. Computers, they're everywhere. They're inside our homes and offices. They drive our cars and they sail our boats. Email and internet have made the world smaller and more efficient, but at what cost? For all their mathematical intelligence, computers lack the street smarts to tell the difference between the year 1900 and the year 2000. This programming oversight known as Y2K threatens to destroy the planet's computer systems and set the human race back a century or more. We do not know how extreme the consequences will be, but odds are, civilization will explode. Hi, I'm Robert Pascal, and I'm here to help. My book, Don't Panic, is the world's foremost instruction manual on Y2K survival, giving you the tools you need for every doomsday scenario. But hey, you can teach a man to fish, or you can just give him a fish. What if I told you I had a Y2K survival kit that would ensure you and your family safe passage into the post-digital world? That sounds great, Mr. Pascal. This is Paul. He's my best friend. Order now and you'll receive the Don't Panic Survival Kit delivered right to your doorstep. My kit has everything you'll need to thrive in the new millennium. This kit includes binoculars, hazmat costume, tearaway pants and pocket knife, gains, flag design kit for country declaration, electric fruit slicer, various religious texts, water and gas, gun barrel stuff, waterproof money, survival suit, I tell you folks, that survival kit is out of this world. But is it good enough? Pick up the phone now and order the Deluxe Y2K Survival Kit. The Deluxe package includes everything in the standard kit, plus miniature vault, antibacterial food wipes, shotgun, wind-up light, old German hat, chapstick, Radiation-powered George Foreman grill. <coughs> Order my kit, and soon you'll have mastered every tenant in the Don't Panic system. Remember, panic stands for purge, adapt, nurture, irrigate, and cardio. No one knows what's going to happen at midnight on December 31st, but only a prick leaves his family's safety up to chance. Don't panic, panic. So that was the infomercial. Um, the film itself actually takes place all on December 31st, 1999. It follows Robert throughout his day uh, as he deals with various characters that are on different sides of the spectrum of believing in Y2K and the kind of disastrous consequences that might have. And what you can kind of see from the infomercial is that back in 1999, when everyone was panicked about Y2K, pretty much anyone who said they were an expert was called an expert. It's just an interesting pocket in history where the internet was totally in its infancy. It's pre-9-11, pre-George W. Bush. It's, it's kind of an innocent American moment. One of the biggest challenges in making Bunko is going to be the fact that it does take place in 1999. And what that means is that the settings, the locations, the props, um, the, the hair, the hair and the outfits, the frosted all that stuff, tips, they're yeah. not going to pay for themselves. Everything has to be consistent with that era. Um, so we've been watching a lot of Friends. It's been great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so if you scroll down right now, you can take a look at the budget. Um, and there you can see where your donation will go. 
If we hit our $13,000 Kickstarter goal, that means we can rent the equipment that we need, we can secure locations and music, and we can give it the post-production polish that it will need to get into a film festival. True. Um, Avatar costs $600 million, our film is going to cost $13,000, so... And ours is like, less, half, half as good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good.